But here's the problem between men and women. It's a spiritual problem. You know that, right? Uh, there, there's an enmity between men and women. And what it is, is that God is, is the man's God. And Satan is the woman's God. And so Satan doesn't want to get along with the man because he doesn't agree with God, right? So he's working through the woman to destroy that man, the son of God. And so that's why you have that battle going on. And that's why you must be born again. So when you're born again, you switch those roles. Women, men, men are subject to God and the woman is subject to the man. The man was created by God and the woman was created from man. So it should be the other way around where the woman come into the man's world. But instead, men are being forced to go into the woman's world. If you notice, know they're making men act like women, dress like women, do everything women do, think like a woman, cater to the woman, agree with the woman, uh, whatever, right? They're trying to switch that role, and the women don't, most women don't realize what they're doing. They don't realize Satan is their God. And, and so th that spirit in her is jealous of the spirit in man because he's jealous of God. Satan is jealous of God, so he's using the woman to destroy the man. And so when your mothers destroy you in the home by turning you away from your fathers, they're, men and women, they'll really turn you away from God, from your own identity. Because if you hate your earthly father, you're going to hate God because the man is the son of God and the woman is the daughter of the man. That's why when they get married and stop having all the babies that you want to have a whole lot of white babies, you're supposed to stop having the sex so you can bring that order back of God and Christ, Christ and man, man over woman. But that's what the problem is, is a spiritual problem. And women don't understand why they, they can't follow the man. They don't know it's that spirit that made a home in them that prevents them from following the man because he is a son of God. And it's their, they, and men, you don't supposed to uh, even, and then I'll take Hermes over there. Take to my terms. You don't supposed to say, oh, if my wife let me be a man, or why, don't she, why doesn't she let me be a man? She can't let you be a man. God already made you a man. You have the spirit of God in you. Now you have to have her overcome the spirit of Satan in her. By being that, you have to be born again. You have to be it, and then by being it, you will do the right thing. You will see how to correct your wife. You will see how to pick up the clothes or whatever you need to do, right? You automatically do the right thing because your nature is that of God. It really is. So men, when, when these women are trying to tell you to do it their way, you can't listen to that because you'll suffer. You will suffer every time you listen. I had a guy tell me the other day in counseling session, he, he went broke by listening to the woman. He was doing fine before he married her, and she made him spend unnecessary money, buy property before time, change job, move from one city to another one. And in his heart, he knew he should not have been doing those things, but he was subject to her. And so, men, you're only subject to the woman because of what happened in the home. You're born through her, and the moment she makes you hate her, you, she controls you. Now you're subject to the woman. But if you don't hate her, if the father protected you, you would never be subject to the woman, and order would be there. But it's that spirit of Satan that's working through the women. They can't help it. They don't know it. it and that's why when, it, when your kids are born, if the father and mother are doing what these two young couples are doing, they have worked out that situation, the woman's going to love her husband, who loved God, and it's going to work out fine. And so you start a new generation. They won't have the same problem you have because they're doing it the right way. Isn't that amazing? She cannot help but, because she, the woman come from the man, or came from the man, and the man came from God. What do you think? Uh, yes, Hermes. Yeah, I mean, I think you're 100% right. I see this stuff playing out everywhere. But my, my question is, did you get this insight or understanding when you first woke up, or did you grow into the understanding? I'm growing into it. But it's all in the book of Genesis. Some of you mentioned it, but what you didn't leave, what you left out is that the woman listened to Satan. Before the woman started listening to Satan, she wasn't listening to God. She was listening to her husband. And her husband listened to the father. And so it came down from the father, from God, through, the, through Adam, through the woman. And that role switched because Satan was finally got the woman to listen to him. So he became her God. And then the, 
And then the woman finally got the man to listen to her, and she became his God. The role switched at that point. Thank God Christ came, and he reversed that whole role so we could get out of it. And the way out of it is to see that you're wrong, stop judging. He won't judge you because it's the nature of Satan to judge, right? And you'll come back to order, men and women. We come back to order, but you, you got to love what's right. You got to admit you're wrong. Stop fighting it. It's not you. It's the spirit that's in you. When Adam said it wasn't him, it's the spirit that's in him, he was absolutely right. But if you read the book of Genesis, you have to be dumb as a doorknob not to see it. But when you wake up, you will see it. It's that spiritual order. And these women have no idea what they're doing. Well, maybe the National Organization of Women Who Hate Men <laughs> and want to kill them. They know what they're doing, kill their babies and stuff. But they don't know it's that spirit. They really think that rebellious spirit that they have against the men, they think because Satan told them, oh, he just want to control you. You're your own self. That's what he told to Eve. You could be like him. I mean, you could be equal to the man. You could be all that. And she's listening to that lie and fighting against it, and it's not working out. Ooh. So I got, am I doing right right now, Jim? Yes, uh, Irma, is there anything to follow up with that? No, I just, I mean, I don't hear, you don't hear other churches or anyone else talking about it. So when you first hear it, I'm sure for new people, it could be shocking, but I agree. It is. It's not shocking to everybody. People know what's right. Yeah. They know it's something inside of them driving them. But those preachers are not going to tell you because they're like what Dalai was talking about earlier. They're afraid of the woman. Because when you have her spirit in you, she is your boss. She's your mama. You don't know what she's going to do, right? But when God takes her spirit out, and he will, and which is not really the spirit of hers, it's the spirit of Satan that's made home in her. Because if women love their father, they would be logical just like men. They would have the mindset of the man who has the mindset of God, right? But because the mother turned them away, the boys and the girls, the women become like the mothers, and they repeat it. Uh, but but they know, everybody knows something is wrong. They know something is driving them. They just want to admit it. But no one else, I haven't heard anybody else clarify it or simplify it the way you talk about because it. Because the but. preachers are afraid. They don't want to lose the women. They're afraid of their wives. They don't, they, they don't want to lose money. Is the donation going down today? Will the donation be less? <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, but they, because they have not been born again. They're hypocrites. You literally must be born again. And born again is not going down to the front of the church and accepting Jesus Christ and, repeat, and repeating the scriptures. That's not born again. That's not the way it happened. But they, once they're born again, then they can see it. But if they're not born again, they just repeat scriptures. But their souls are still corrupt and still separated from God. So that's what's the problem with the preachers. But that's what the problem is, man. They hate you because you're a son of God. And Satan is your daddy. And when you believe her, Satan is your daddy. Because you love her, you love Satan. You should only love God with all your heart, soul, and mind. What do you think about that, Victoria? Vic then I'll ask you right in a minute. Victoria, what do you think about it? Satan is your daddy? That is an accurate statement. <laughs> Right on. I know you thought it was going to be something else, huh? No, I'm not surprised you said that was accurate. You said it was right, right? Yeah, it's accurate. Because I agree you with want you. what's right. And there are women. That's why women come to bar and they want to hear the truth. They know something is wrong, but they don't quite know what it is. And so anyone that seeks God, he's going to make a way for you to find him. He's going to find you and bring you back home. So I'm not surprised at that all, Rebecca. Yes? Just a quick question. What if the male is beta? So in the scenario where... Good, good choice. I mean, good question. If a woman was of God, really born again, didn't hate her earthly father, if she, if she happened to run into a beta male, she would have great compassion for him and not judge him. She would be so that God could work through her to show him the right way. She wouldn't judge him and try to control him and hate him and call him names and, you know, that kind of stuff. She would have love. But women don't have love. They, they only have Satan love, hate. Yes, sir. So what do you say to women that are like church going? I have two sisters. They go to church and they say they follow Jesus. They're both single mothers. And they said, I'd follow a man if he was like Jesus. Whenever a woman tell you that, leave her. <laughs> you with Satan. Because if a woman is truly born again, she's not going to use, I follow Jesus, right? 
One thing about fathering, uh, I don't even know what it means to follow God. You don't follow God. You become his son. You know, you, so he's in you and he lived through you or his daughter. He's in you. So it just become the way you live, the way you are, right? You just become him. His nature is through you. He switched nature from Satan to God. So you just, you overcome fear, no more fear, no more doubt, no more anger, no more hate, no more nothing. You have perfect love as he has in your father, your new father. Your, you came back home to God. So you just have, but these women that somebody they follow God, they're lying. They're absolutely lying because they would be, would be acting that way if they follow God. A woman not supposed to tell a man how to live. The man is supposed to be a perfect example of what she should become. And what his kids will become. And he's, he's a light. All right. As a matter of fact, my biblical question for this week is, are you the light of the world and the salt of the earth? That's my biblical question for this week. I saw, oh, right here. And then we, I'm asking questions and at 1230 we got to end, right? <laughs> well, thank you. <laughs> Beta. No. Yes. Yeah, just real quick, it, it says in 1 Corinthians 11, verse 3, But I want you to realize that the head of every man is Christ, and the head of the woman is man, and the head of Christ is God. Everybody, it's in the Bible, but they kind of read over it sometimes, but the preacher ain't going to say much about it, because when you get home, the wife's going to make him sleep on the couch. <laughs> and they say that the women carry the purses too, so she has to control of the money. That needs to change. Unless she's better at money, you know, making the money work than you are. That makes sense. But that's what the problem is. It's a spiritual problem. And that order has been switched. And that's why nothing is working. But once, Dalai, once you overcome your mama and forgive, then when you go into the bank and you run into those mean women, it won't bother you. You just see something driving her, but it won't affect you on the inside and you still can deal with her straight up. And it drives them nuts. Yeah. I mean, once I went, the clothes I went, I had on a, a, a Trump shirt. It said, the green, white, who? <laughs> and then this black woman, this black woman at the post office, she, she was waiting on me, serving me. And then she looked up and she saw that shirt and she said, I'm like, what is it? I ain't gonna say nothing. That shirt. I ain't gonna say nothing. <laughs> I'm like, you can say it. Normally, before I woke up, ain't no way I would have invited her to say it, right? I said, you can say whatever you gotta say. Because I, I was ready to deal with her. But because I had no fear toward her, I have love for her, she couldn't say anything. And she was black. A uh, black woman. <laughs> But so that's what happens when you switch gods, when you come back to the true God, you're not going to have the fear of the women who have that spirit in them. And women, when you come back to the true God by forgiving your earthly father, because it's impossible to love and know God and to hate your earthly father. If you hate your earthly father, you would never, I don't care how many Bibles you read, how often you go to church, or hoop and holler, run up and down, shout, and all that stuff. If you don't love your earthly father, you would never love God because he represents God. He's the son of God. Even if he obeyed a God, I mean, obeyed a son, he still represents the father. You can't hate the son. You have to love him. Don't hate him. All right.